Have you considered investing in a digital manifold, but you're not sure you can justify the cost or give up the analog gauges you've used for years? Well, now there's an option that gives you the best of both worlds. The Mini RSA from Yellow Jacket. Hi, it's Paul again. The Mini RSA is designed to take your brass analog manifold to the next level. It allows you to leverage the accuracy of digital and the responsiveness of analog, especially when it comes to seeing fluctuations in pressure. Before starting a job, there are a few things you'll need to do. Set the refrigerant type, zero the pressure, and set the elevation. Refrigerant type is the first option on the main menu. Use the up and down keys to find the desired refrigerant, then press next to select. With nearly 100 refrigerant types to choose from, you'll be happy to know you can program a list of favorites to shorten your scroll list to only the refrigerants you use the most. So how do you zero pressure? First, check to see if your pressure is reading zero. If not, hit menu, scroll down, and select zero pressure. When it stops flashing, the pressure has been zeroed. To get the most accurate refrigerant PT data, you'll also need to select the elevation. Elevation is the third option on the menu screen. Once you've reached the number that's closest to your elevation level, press next to set. The Mini RSA works right alongside your existing brass manifold. To use, attach the hose that comes with the Mini RSA to the center port of the Yellow Jacket Series 41 manifold and attach a standard yellow hose to the bottom. The Mini RSA measures one pressure whatever pressure is present on the center fitting on the manifold. So make sure you open the pressure path for the measurement you're going to take. To measure superheat, close the high side valve, open the low side valve, and connect the thermal couple bead to the suction line of the system. The readout screen will then display the low side pressure and temperature readings from your thermal couple probe, as well as the dew point and calculated superheat values. To measure subcooling, Close the low side valve, open the high side valve, and connect the thermocouple bead to the liquid line. Now change to subcool mode by pressing the center button. Another nice feature of the Mini RSA is that it easily transitions from one manifold to the other. And if you're concerned about cross-contamination, simply flush the system to reduce that risk. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching. <music>